Hello everybody, it's numerologist Michelle Buchanan with your numerology forecast for April 2022. So, we are well and truly into the year now, aren't we? And there's so much madness going on around us, and that's why it's even more important that we ourselves do whatever we can do to stay in alignment, to make our own individual life experiences as best they can be under strange, uncertain, and sometimes often challenging circumstances. So my forecasts are tending to have a lot more meaning as we're moving into the strange time of being alive. That is also a very wonderful gift and has many benefits and positives to it. And it's all in how we perceive it. It's all in how we perceive ourselves, our life experiences. And it's all in the fact that we need to perceive everything from a higher level of awareness from the bigger picture, the whole picture looking down, not just for our own individual experiences, but for the global experience, for the experience of humanity, because that's what's happening. Not only is planet Earth itself going through a major transition, a huge, massive, massive, massive shift that's been a long time coming and has been pre-planned, but that shift influences all of us human beings on the planet individually. And that's why it's so important to have a broader understanding of what's going on in terms of the bigger picture. Because then you'll start to see how it filters down the influence of that global planetary shift. It filters down into each of us individually. And if you look at it like this, if you think of it, as the planet's going through this major shift, it's, crea it's moving into a higher frequency. This has already been happening for a while, but it's just this massive shift right and it's sped up it's really really speeding up and it's going up into this higher frequency regardless with or without us right now we everybody on the planet is feeling that and it all depends on how much work you've done on yourself how aware you are of your own issues and your own stuff in terms of how much you've done on your personal growth and how self-aware you are in terms of what you need to work on what your triggers are how you're programmed and you sort of speak that language or whether you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're like this lady is crazy what the heck is she talking about we're all at different levels of understanding and awareness and that's perfectly fine all we can do is do the best within our own capability but what's happening is asking us to go deeper to go broader to go higher with that level of awareness to fill our mind and every cell of our being with the understanding the wisdom and the knowing of that bigger picture because when we understand what's really going on it provides a sense of comfort a comfort in the understanding of everything that is going on rather than just your little corner of the world and how challenging it may be for many of us and many of you and when you look at that bigger picture not only does it give you a greater sense of understanding and 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 sort of everything sort of makes sense but it's also very that understanding and that wisdom is empowering so it creates a sense of empowerment and it creates a sense of connection to all that is because you are all that is you are part of all that there is you we are all connected i know it sounds a bit out there and a little bit hard to get your head around if this isn't sort of something you already know but everything's connected so everything that's happening on the planet affects us individually all the issues are starting to come to the surface now you see because it's almost like the universe is saying go hard or go home go big and work on yourself like big things are happening now so the shit is starting to hit the surface you know things are coming to the surface of issues that we may have or fears or limiting beliefs or anything that's built on a rocky foundation whether it's an unstable relationship whether it's an addiction that we have that we're not dealing with whether it's a fear we've carried our whole life it's almost like all of these things are amplified this year and, in, and not beyond this year like this 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 wave that we're in now of the time that we're in of transition and everything is amping up it's amped up and it's going to continue to amp up then when you throw into the mix all of the craziness that's going on in the world with the threats of deadly diseases and world wars and um you know financial ruin and bankruptcy and all of this crap right that's absolutely terrifying that causes you to feel disconnected from all that there is and all that you are 
not only does that disconnection and that fear increase your ability to be unwell because it reduces your own immune system and your own body and your own energy system's ability to keep you safe and protected because of the emotions of fear and terror, those negative frequencies lower your body's immune system to be able to keep itself healthy and strong. And the opposite is true also, where the more positive you are, the better you feel from within, the better, the more happier you feel, the more relaxed you feel, the more safe and trusting that you feel, the more you will increase your health and well-being. You will increase the synchronicity in your life and find yourself more in the right place at the right time. So, you know, there's a lot in, on, in stake here. There's a lot on the line that depends on your attitude and your perception of how you see yourself, how you see your life and how you see what's going on globally around you. It's all in your perception. Your perception and your level of understanding and awareness is the key to how you will navigate your way through this time. Will you navigate and come from a place of high frequency, in alignment, living from your higher self, from that wiser, inner knowing, strong, empowered, brave, spiritual being, or will you come from out of alignment in the, in the depths of fear and worry and stress and panic and terror and unwellness? You know, it's up to, it's up to you, it's up to us. So, you know, I just want to do a little recap. 2022, it's a really, really significant year. Number 2022 is a sixth universal year, um, which is about being more connected to your community, being more connected to your family, um, ironing out problems and issues, finding negotiation and mediation and solutions so that everyone can just get along. We work together as a team. We We have results and we are successful when we work together as a team. And it's about, you know, going away from me, me, me and what I can get and what's all about me and I come first and me, me, me and moving into that we, 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 that community, that group, sort of more person, uh, more in the more than just the one person to achieve a goal that comes together as a collective vibration, a collective energy. It's about people finding their tribe, being there for those who need us, uh, being a shoulder to cry on, right? And and looking at how to collectively together we can get somewhere, we can improve things together. Um, but the, the presence of the 2022 for the whole of 2022 is really significant because we've got all these number twos. And the zero, all the zero does in the middle of all those twos is it amplifies the energy of the two. So it's very, very, very much a lot of two energy this year. And what's two all about? Well, first of all, two is about two sides of a story. It's hard to know exactly what's going on out there in life when you're only shown through the mainstream media and other channels one side of the story. And if it just also so happens that the people who are in charge of the story <laughs> have a goal in mind of what they want you to think and believe, then, you know, it's, you know, it's just to be aware that there are two sides to the story. But apart from that, it's also about learning to trust your own inner guidance and your own intuition. The more inward you go, the more grounded you are, the more you work on your personal growth and what issues you have and ironing them out and becoming a whole, uh, fully empowered, strong, courageous, wise human being, the, the clearer your intuition will be. You know, the clear, it's funny, a lot of people are like, um, oh, I want to be psychic, I want to develop my psychic abilities, you know, and they do these these workshops and they do these these things to, to build that psychic ability. And it's like, do you know, one of the best things you can actually do to increase your psychic or intuitive ability is to work on your personal issues within your personality that take you out of alignment, whether it's things you need to forgive from the past, whether it's building your self-confidence, whether it's um, working on um, jealousy, whether it's uh, working on fears, whether it's needing to accept and embrace a challenging problem you've got going on in your life that never goes away. And how do you embrace that problem and issue? How do you integrate that into all that you are and, and go through that experience in a higher vibration? Like these are the things that raise your intuition. These are the things that help to increase your psychic abilities. It's working on your own frequency as a human being, as an individual and getting that all tidied up and in order. And then you're going to open all kinds of channels um, from higher powers and information and um, and sort of activate more DNA and other 
um, channels for yourself to receive guidance from above. You know, we're always receiving guidance. It's a matter of are we listening to it? Can we hear it? What else is going on in our thoughts and our minds and our physical body that is blocking it? that is preventing it, that is dulling it out because we're not listening, we're, we're distracted. And that's another technique that's used by the powers that be to disempower us and dis is distraction. Whether that distraction is a worldwide epidemic, a pandemic, whether that distraction is another possibility of a third world war, whether that distraction is Chris Rock and Will Smith at the Academy Awards, they're all distractions. So that you are talking about that and arguing with other people around you, whether it's online or with people you know in your everyday life. Do you think that that was, what do you think? Do you think, you know, what country's in the wrong and who's the right guy? Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Did that, should that have happened? Would you have done that? Oh, I agree with them. You don't agree? I don't agree. Are you vaxxed? Are you unvaxxed? Are you this? Are you that? Are you that? Are you this? It's all just division. Division and distraction, but don't you let it fool you. You stay in alignment. You hold yourself together and you navigate your way through these crazy times, knowing that you are a powerful, incredibly, incredibly powerful light being of pure white light. And you are connected to all that is and you have no idea how loved you are. Well, many of you do, but there are many that don't also. You have no idea how brave and strong you are. You have no idea what you're capable of. You are an energetic being that is a powerful manifesting creator. And you are a magnet for everything that you think and believe. And it's time to step into your power now and to embrace that powerful side of yourself that you don't even really realize how powerful it actually is and not be distracted, and not be divided, and not be afraid and fearful that cause that, that to the point that you forget all of this, that you, do, you don't step into that power, instead you become disempowered. Don't let that happen, especially this year. So the two is, um, the two is also about finding harmonious solutions to problems. It's about being more empathetic and understanding of other people. You know, you might not agree with someone's opinion, but why do they have that opinion? What's their way of thinking? Even though you don't agree with it, can you at the very least understand why they think that way based on their programming and based on their view of the world? You don't have to agree, but if you could at least understand, it's that understanding that creates a shift and the energy frequency that connects us all, you know, um, you don't have to agree, but if you can at least understand, sort of try and move into that, especially in your own personal relationships, and when it comes to creating more peace and harmony in your own life and in the environment around you. So this is a universal year number six for everybody, and it is a universal universal month number of a one. All right, so it's a universal month one for everybody with a universal six year. So the universal one month is about new beginnings, new doorways opening, new ways of thinking, new ways of perceiving, new ways of living your life. If there's anything new you want to begin, then now is the time to take that step. Unless you're in a nine year of personal year, then that might not be, be the case. Um, but it's definitely there, that energy is there for you, giving you a green light. It's absolutely a great time to start embracing a new way of doing things, a new way of looking at yourself in life. It's also a great time for you to be working on those areas in your personality that you know you need to work on to raise your vibration so that you can glide through these challenging times. You can glide through with that frequency and ride in the higher altitudes because you've done the work, you're doing the work, you know, and that is huge. That's really powerful advice there. So let's go now to working out your personal year number for the year. We do this by adding the day and month of your birthday to number six. Why number six? Because 2022, 2022 is number six. So once again, we're going to add the day and month of your birth date to number six. We're going to add those numbers together and then we're going to, if we get a double digit answer, we're going to add those two double numbers together. Keep doing that. Keep adding any double numbers together until you get a single number between one and nine. And that single number between one and nine is your personal year number for the year. All right. So let me use the example, the birth date, 28th of March. So 28th of March, we're going to add that to number 6, remember? So we would go 2 plus 8, plus 3, plus 6. All right, 2 plus 8 is 10, 
plus 3 is 13, plus 6 is 19. Now, that had a double digit answer. The next rule of thumb, keep adding together any double digit numbers until you eventually get a single number between 1 and 9. So therefore, that 19 double numbers, I add the 1 and the 9 together. 1 plus 9 equals 10. Oh, another double number. Add it together again. 1 plus 0 equals 1. All right, so we're aiming for that individual single digit number. And in this case, it's a one personal year number. Right, now let me go on now to all of the personal year numbers and what your forecast is for the month of April. So let's begin with personal year number one. You guys are in a year of new beginnings, new opportunities, a whole fresh start. For some of you, it will feel a lot more obvious from your birthday on. However, this energy is all around you. Make sure that you notice it. Don't be looking for all the big bells and whistles of all of the great, big, major, obvious new beginnings and opportunities, such as a new job, a new partner, a new friendship, a new hobby, a new home, a new location, a new, my, you know, it's not always about those big, obvious new beginnings. Make sure you pay attention to the new beginnings and the opportunities that exist out there for you that are a smaller category of, of opportunities and beginnings. Because a lot of the time we don't notice those. It can be something really minor and it can be something also from within. So it's something, it's like everything in your outside world may be the same, but you may find that you've just got this feeling of I need to, I need a new start in the way that I see the world. I need to change my attitude. I've been so negative and so pessimistic and so victim consciousness. I'm so, everything is not, you know, I'm such a victim and I'm sick of it. I really want to take my power back and be a lot more positive now because that's the only thing that's going to help me through. So some people, it's an attitude. It's a new attitude, a new way of seeing things. Um, either way, whatever it is for you, it's a green light for you to move forward with anything new that need that you want to begin. Now, the month of April is a five personal month for you within that one personal year. The five month is all about change, all right? Progress, movement, and change. And some of that change can be unexpected. So be aware this month, things can come from left field that you didn't expect or didn't see coming. And they can be really exciting, dynamic, charismatic, fun things and adventurous things. And sometimes they can be challenges as well. And Either way, our job in this combination of numbers is to be really flexible and adaptable and go with the flow. So don't have your plans too set in stone that everything must happen according to my schedule in this particular way because that's what it has to be in order for me to be happy. You have to have the mindset of this is the ideal that I would like. You know, this is the ideal I have. And ideally, I would love things to unfold this way. And if they do, I'll be very blessed. And I'm sending energy out to hope and pray that it does go that way. But I understand, should it not, it's okay. It's all about divine order and timing. The universe is in charge. And I understand that whatever happens, everything will work out in the end anyway. And so you want to be really flexible and adaptable and have that type of attitude. And it's about, um, you know, that whole, just don't have your plans to set in stone. Roll with the punches and just see it as a really exciting dynamic combination of numbers. Definitely, if there's changes that you need to be made or that you want to make that need to be made or you want to make them, now is the time to do it. Great time for doing new things, new adventurous things. Put a kick in your step. Try some new things. Meet some new people. Um, get out there. Be a mover and a shaker. Take on the world. Get out and enjoy life. I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number two. So you guys are in a year of, um, you know, it's about ironing things out emotionally from within. It's where you might feel more emotional than you normally would. Don't worry, you're not going to stay that way. You're, own, you're just in a two year. That's what I say to my clients. Don't worry, you're not losing your mind. You might feel more sensitive than normal or you might have emotional things to deal with, but you're just in a two year. It's very normal. Other people, it can be a beautiful, positive emotions, like feeling a real sense of closeness, 
to other people or a sense of closeness or a increased love in your life, connection with others, with like-minded people, with a sense of belonging or relationships, finding someone special or, you know, working on a relationship you're already in, an existing relationship increases its bonds and connections. Other people, it can be issues that are brewing beneath the surface that need to be ironed out. So, you know, there can be conflicts or, you know, um, Things that need to be said and need to be ironed out that have just been swept under the carpet, they may come to the surface. Now, you guys are in a six personal month for April, and that means, you know, being there for those who need you, relationship issues, family issues, um, issues with colleagues, work colleagues, neighbors, friends can be really positive things, but it can also mean, you know, again, with the six and relationship issues brewing beneath the surface can rise to be resolved. So when you're in a two year with a six month, which you are, you know, it's highly likely they could, you know, to just put extra effort into making your relationships the best they can be. Putting extra effort into being the most understanding you can be. You don't have to agree with someone. You don't have to agree with how they are or what they do or what they think. But if you can at the very least understand why they think the way they think, why they behave, because there's always a reason why. And it's got usually to do with the pro way that someone is programmed and the way that they see the world. And this combination of numbers is asking you to be more of a mediator, being more open to finding creative solutions to problems. And rather than just, oh, if them, I'm out of here. You know, it's about being more patient, tolerant, being more understanding, being more helpful to other people, wanting to iron things out to improve things, um, tidying up loose ends, um, working on the home, uh, but being there for, for, for people that may need you. All right, so I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number three. You guys are in a year where it's really about you expressing yourself creatively if you can, but more importantly, being aware that your emotions and your words and your thoughts are creative and they create the environment around you so that your thoughts, emotions and your, your beliefs and perceptions, they actually are magnetic and they attract back to you people, situations and experiences that will mirror what you're projecting out. So this is a year to be very aware of that because the three is the creative vibration and you are a creative being. So it's about being responsible and being in the driver's seat and having more discipline and more awareness around what you're projecting out. What are your thoughts? What are your beliefs about yourself and life? Are they positive? Are they negative? Why are they negative? Where does that programming come from? What can I do to change that? What can I do to create a new story? Now I know what I don't want. Now I've realized what's wrong, what's right. What do I want? What's right? What's good? What's the goodness in life? What are my positive aspects? What are, what are the good things that could happen? Because I already am aware of what's wrong. Now let's move into a territory of what's good and what's right. And that's what that three is. It is the happy-go-lucky number. It is the number of joy and creativity. So it's about you being aware that you are the creator in your world and being more proactive with that and creating opportunities, people and experiences that make you feel good. So doing more in your life to deliberately feel good emotionally. Uh, you're in a seven personal month for April and that's about you going within and actually you know, looking at yourself, it's a great combination of numbers to go within and to do some self-evaluation, to look at what you can improve in your life, to ask the big questions, who am I, what's the meaning of life, that this is a deep and meaningful vibration, um, to make some time for contemplation, work on your health and well-being, spend more time in nature in the outdoors. If you're interested in learning any personal growth or um, life coaching or um, spiritual or, or um, mind, body, body, spirit development, um, great time for all of that. Good time to do learning. Uh, great time to switch off from distractions and um, get away from the hustle and bustle of everything if you possibly can for some rest and relaxation or just quiet time time away from everyone and everything to switch off and go within because the work you do when you go within is in, is invaluable like it is it priceless of how valuable having a strong inner being is it's the greatest gift that we can have because it gets us through anything that we need to go through when we have a strong inner connection to source energy and to our spirituality as well as a strong inner knowing and inner trust 
you know, that is gold as far as I'm concerned. Um, and also an understanding of the secrets and mysteries of the universe. What's really going on out there? So I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number four. So you guys are in a year where it's all about you taking action, taking action to create a stable, solid foundation around you that will set you up for where you're heading in the years to come and for the rest of this year. So it's about first and foremost doing the groundwork, putting the effort in and taking practical steps and practical action to get everything in place. All the little details behind the scenes that will set things up for where you're going. So some people that's literally, oh, I need to renovate my home and get it ready to sell. So you're actually physically doing work on renovating and getting a home ready. Other people, it's like, I need to create a strong foundation in my physical body. I'm really unhealthy at the moment. I need to do some, I need to cut out sugar and I need to do some more cardiovascular activity and I need to stop watching negative things on TV and I need to start having some positive conversations with some positive people or, you know, I need to cut sugar and I need to stop drinking or whatever. Everyone's lives are different. Um, and then there are other people I need to stop my, cut my spending back and stop wasting money on things I don't need and, and sort of start getting my finances in order and creating a stable, solid financial foundation. Everyone's needs and everyone's life is different. But the four year is about if it is needed to get everything where you need it to be and where it needs to be and where you want it to be moving forward. Now you're in a personal month of eight, an eight personal month in April. And that's where there is a focus on money, business, career, finances, uh, legal matters, um, squaring things up, balancing the scales of justice, um, being aware that number eight is the law of manifestation. It is the law of attraction and the law of cause and effect number. So it is a very karmic number and you're in this vibrational month. So I suggest mm -hmm. that you are as honest and have as much integrity as you possibly can in this vibration. You should anyway at all times because the universe, you know, you might be able to get away with things in life with other people, but the energy of those actions and those deceitful actions they exist in the universe they don't disappear disappear into nothingness because you got away with something they exist and they always balance out <laughs> okay so the universe takes note and this is a universe of balance that's what it is it just balances in its own way how it will balance and when it will strike and when it will balance is we don't know that's the universe's job so it pays to be aware of that that things are taken note of in the universe and we just want to be as honest and as have as much integrity as possible at all times just to avoid more drama for ourselves further down the line i mean life's hard enough without inviting more shit into it isn't it um now the eight again understanding the law of attraction and the fact that you are a creative being you're in a very powerful cycle of manifestation this month so you really need to be aware of those universal laws like the law of attraction use them to work to your advantage get your hands on a book by sandra ann taylor quantum success sandra ann taylor quantum success read that book it will change your life all right and don't overspend get your finances in order some people will have job issues opportunities for change opportunities to make things different um, or opportunities to move on to other things it'll start something new all right i'll leave that with you and i'll move on now to personal year number five you guys are in a year of change all right and this change can be out of left field things can, it's a really exciting vibration though it's almost like anything can happen and it usually does you know so it's almost like things can come into your life or happen that you didn't see coming and you're like wow i didn't see that coming um, what's that all about? Um, and, and that's a really good thing, I think, you know, on one level, um, because the universe knows what it's doing. And when things come and they change, the more adaptable you are, like the more understanding you have of the universe and its nature, and that everything's in divine order and timing, and that whatever happens, you have the ability to get through. You were born with the ability to get through anything that comes your way. So therefore, when anything comes your way, the first and foremost thing you need to know and understand is I can get through this. It's in our feeling of fear, hopelessness, powerlessness, or powerlessness, powerlessness, yeah, 
powerless is that we are disempowered and we're disconnected from any solutions coming it's like we 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 cut ourselves off from the source energy that we are that will bring those solutions to problems and help us to glide our way through. Our first thought is, I can't do this. This is too big for me. It's too much. I can't do it. And what does that do? It cuts off that beautiful life force energy. Well, not the life force energy isn't cut off, but it cuts off and it blocks and it prevents and it delays the universal source energy coming into you that offers the solutions to the problems. Okay, so it's about stepping into your power and being aware that you can handle anything that comes your way. If there are changes that need to be made in your life, be proactive, make them. This is the this is the year to make them, to do the things that need to be done, to make those changes that need to be made. Great time for travel, great time well, if you're allowed to travel, great time for adventure, doing new things, feeling free. Like this vibration wants to just go out there and be wild and crazy and free freedom is a huge thing in a five year um now you are in, a, in the month of april and from april you're in a nine month and that is a vibration of transformation endings and completion so remember you're in a year of change and now you're in a month of endings completion and transformation out with the ultimate way for the new so be aware that things may come to an end they can either come to an end because you're in the driver's seat you're in charge it's your decision and you're ending them and those things that are ending could be anything big or anything small it's just and some people can have a variety of endings don't forget though you know where something ends it's so something new can begin so it's a really lovely combination that you're in this month and next month you're in endings and completion and preparation for new beginnings in the month of april and may for you so make the most of that whatever needs to come to an end let it be um roll with that the universe knows what it's doing handle it with grace and if you're in the driver's seat and you're being proactive then you're the one making the endings it is a time to do so I'll leave that with you and I'll move on now to personal year number six. So you are always in sync with the universal year number. So you get a double dose of whatever that vibration is and whatever it means. The sixth year, being there for those who need you. Family, relationships. Now those relationships aren't just, you know, loved ones and partners and, and wives and husbands and girlfriends and boyfriends. and They are relationships with everyone. The community, how you see the community, especially for those people that, you know, we're trying to get the world back in terms of integrating back together. And the more separation we have because there's two sides of the fence. Are you this? Are you that? Do you agree with this? Do you agree with that? Are you on my side or are you on their side? Or all this bullshit division. You know, we're trying to integrate back into it, and that's what this year is about. So if, especially if you are in a sixth year, you need to be aware of that and be more understanding towards other people that may have different choices or different thoughts than you do. You know, this is uh, this year is asking you to be more responsible in the way that you treat other people and yourself in the world. You know, every judgmental thought we have is a negative vibration in the universe that is alive and it attracts more of the same. So... You can't practice peace, peace, peace in the world when you are creating disharmony in your own personal way of living because you are unforgiving and judgmental of people for the smallest of things. Like just like peace isn't just not as is, is peace isn't just living in a, a country that's not in war or peace isn't just preventing war peace is about having a peaceful existence in your everyday life so it can be about forgiving someone that just stole your car park at the supermarket or forgiving that there's someone that made a choice and with their body that might be different from yours like it's really time to put your big 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 adult pants on and start viewing things from that higher perspective now is the time to really get that um, be an understanding forgiving loving human being now you're in a one month for April and that's about new beginnings so like I said in the introduction for the uh, it's, it's, it's about whatever you want to begin now is the time to begin it you know it can be anything it can be a whole new mindset it can be a new job it can be a new friendship it can be a new health regime that you're taking up everybody's lives are different but it is time for new things new ways of living new ways of thinking new ways of being new ways of perceiving the world now it's time for you to to be proactive in that area of your life so i'll leave that with you and i'll move on now to personal year number seven so this is a year where there is a lot of work to be done, or not a lot, but this is a year to work on your inner development. 
because the work you will do in this year on working on yourself from within is going to be of great benefit to you moving forward in your life. And everything you learn and everything that you grow from and all the work that you put into yourself, the more you put in, the more you are going to get out and the more benefits you will have in your own, all that you are in your own life moving forward from here. So I cannot stress enough, do the work, do the work, do the work, because this is what's needed. The seven year is to time to go within, to work on those areas of yourself that you know need improving. What if what are, what are personality traits and, and ways you see the world that you know you need to work on? Are there people you need to forgive? Is it yourself you need to forgive? Is it more self-love that you need? Is it more a higher level of self-worth and self-esteem? Is it fear you need to overcome? Is it forgiving other people and or is it forgiving life that things happened the way they did that are beyond your control but you're the one suffering for it? If you need to forgive that life is the way that is and things just happen and bad things happen to good people, you must do that work. Because put it this way, if there are things that need to be worked on and you're not doing the work, you're only going to find things harder for yourself moving down the line. This is the frequency we're living in now. This is what the universe is all about. This is what the transition is that planet Earth is going through. It's going into a higher frequency with or without you. So are you going to hear the call, do the work and glide through that change and transition? Or are you going to go kicking and screaming because you're too lazy to work on? You just want to complain about everything and blame everything. And that's only going to take you down and you will suffer for it. So you need to be strong and you need to do the work. Now, also, it's a time to solidify, amplify, and build upon your spiritual connection. Whatever your relationship is to source energy, whatever it is you believe spiritually, you know, that is, a, that is more important than the physical world because this, the, the connection you have to source energy and your spirituality and your spiritual world, because that's what you are. You are spirit. You are energy. You are a spiritual being in a human body having a human experience. But that is all you are. You are spirit and you need to come home and you need to tap into that energy of all that you are because that's the wind beneath your wings and that is what's going to get you through. And that is a part of ourselves that most of humanity is not tapping into and that's why they're so messed up. One of the reasons why. We've lost our connection to source. And now we're getting it back. Many of us are. Now, for the month of April, you're in a two month. And that is about dealing with emotions. Dealing with emotional issues. Letting emotions come to the surface so that they can be expressed and released. So I'll leave that with you. And I want you to work on healing yourself from within. Working on whatever it is that you especially self-love and self-worth, relationship issues that have been brewing beneath the surface that haven't been addressed will come to be, you know, will rise to the surface this year. Um, they will rise to the surface and um, rise to be resolved this month, sorry, not this year. They will look, they will rise to be addressed so that we can be aware of what's not working so we can start either solving the issues and making, taking steps towards fixing things and improving them or walking away. So let yourself feel emotions. Don't numb yourself. Don't distract yourself. Let whatever needs or wants to come to the surface, come to the surface and honor it. Feel it, express it. And let it do its thing, because that's how we release it, so you don't have to carry it around moving forward. Now I'll leave that with you, and I'll move on now to personal year number eight. All right, so now we're going to talk about personal year number eight, and you guys are in a very powerful year of manifestation. So as I've probably said throughout the, all of the monthly recordings so far this year. Very important that you understand the law of attraction and other universal laws that are currently and always will be influencing your life and what happens to you or what doesn't happen to you, regardless of whether you believe in them or not. So it's important that you understand what they are, how they work, and you utilize those gifts and abilities and those laws to your advantage and you learn more about them. And one of the best ways to do that is from a book that I always quote, and that is a book by Sandra Ann Taylor, and it's called Quantum Success. Now, there is another book out there in the world that's called Quantum Success by another author. It is not that book. It is the Sandra Ann Taylor Quantum Success book. You can find it secondhand copies on Amazon if you're on a tight budget. Um, but it's a brilliant book that will change your life. Um, 
The eight year is about you reclaiming your personal power, not allowing yourself to be disempowered, not allowing yourself to be disempowered by fears, worries, addictions, limiting beliefs and patterns of behavior, allowing yourself to not be disempowered by other people and reclaiming your personal power. It's about balancing your finances and budgeting and not overspending. It's about looking at your career and work and job opportunities and looking at ways that you can save money and not overspend. Some people will make money. Some people will make money. Money comes, money goes. Some people will have um, uh, expenses that they didn't see coming or bigger expenses. Some people will have big gains. Everyone's different. Either way, you are in a month of three for the month of April. And that month of April, that three, is about you finding your voice, about being honest about what you really think and feel and having the courage to speak your truth, having the courage to speak out about what your truth, how do you really feel about that situation? Are you really okay with it? If you're not okay with it, why not? Explaining things in a very diplomatic and sort of gentle but confident way where you are having great self-worth and, and valuing your own self and having confidence in your opinion and not worrying what other people think and not holding back or not not betraying who you really are to keep other people happy or to to, to, to fit in or whatever it's about you having the courage to find your truth also about expressing yourself creatively doing more things deliberately on purpose in your life that feel good to bring more of that joy in your life because why because that joy happy vibration raises your overall frequency through the roof puts you in alignment with source energy gets you in synchronicity with life the more you feel good and it doesn't matter why you feel good it's about feeling good. So you do whatever you have to do to feel good that's not illegal and doesn't hurt anybody else and isn't dangerous to you. You do what you've got to do to feel good and do as much of it as you possibly can because that's what you need to be aware of. That's what raises your vibration. That's what puts you in the right place at the right time. That's what attracts solutions to problems. The benefits are countless. This is what helps to improve your health and well-being as well. So get out there, be a mover and shaker, be more social and express yourself in the month of April. And last but by no means least, let's go with personal year number nine. You guys are in a nine year. This is a year of endings, completion and transformation where it's out with the old to make way for the new. It's about whatever is you've grown out of what no longer works what what's you feel like you're pushing shit up a hill and you're not getting anywhere is it time to just let it go it's about letting things go it's about forgiveness it's about squaring things up tying up loose ends having a clear out it's about rising to a higher level of a new way of looking at things leaving the past behind and moving on to new opportunities and new beginnings and creating a fresh start for the month of April, you're in a four month and that's about effort, putting in the effort, doing the work, crossing your T's, dotting your I's, doing the, all the details, take care of all the details behind the scenes that get you and your life where you want it to be. So it's about putting in the effort to get results. What is it you want to build in your life? What is it you need to create? What foundation needs to, first of all, you need to create a foundation beneath that. So that whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whatever it is you're trying to attract in your life, whatever you're trying to accomplish or create, it's created and accomplished on a solid foundation so it will last the test of time. It's not just going to crumble at the first sign of trouble. So this is a slow, heavy, dense moving energy that enables you to take things slowly and to one step at a time but more precise, accurate steps. So that the quality of the workmanship, the quality of the foundation is of a high vibration, of a high level of quality. Rather than rushing through something with a half-hearted, oh, she'll be right attitude and it all just crumbles and doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't last the test of time. So we want that solid foundation. So it's about you taking the steps to get yourself and your life where you want it to be, where you need it to be for everything to work out the way you want. So if it means improving your health, doing the work, getting that nutrition sorted, getting that exercise sorted, having more positive, healthier thoughts, you know, like doing the work, whatever it is you want to achieve and accomplish or what needs to be done in yourself and in your life, do the work.
all right i'll leave that with you and i'll talk to you again at the end of uh sorry at the beginning of may on the first of may i'll be there with your new new forecast take care and have an amazing april